guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. We're back on YouTube and um, I wanted to react to my Premier League predictions. Yeah, I did. But first, I want to apologise. And I'm going to look at you in your eyes. I made an error in my judgement. And I just want you to know, I'm sorry. Okay, I apologise. And please like, please subscribe. Let's get to 200 before August. But I just, I apologise for these. There's some that I look at and they're just terrible. But let's get straight into it because I know you are... Do not want, you do not want to just sit here and wait for me to get to it. So we're going to get to it straight away. The relegation teams, as the video will show you right now. What did, who did I say would get relegated? Yep, that's right. I said Bournemouth, Fulham and Southampton would get relegated. No, Bournemouth, I... I apologise. I actually thought you would 100% going down. I really did. I really thought you was going to go down. But you know what? You survived somehow. And I appreciate that. That was good from you. Fulham, again. I want to apologise. What did you... I think you got top 10, didn't you? How? I, I will never know. But it wasn't a bad prediction for me. For the Fulham one. Because they do, honestly, just always go up and down. So, I did not see it coming where they would actually do well. But, Southampton, yes, I didn't predict the exact position they got. But I said they'd get relegated. I said it was their time to go. I just knew it was their time to go down. Now, I thought they would do, have done... I really did think they'd do a little bit better. That's why I put them 18th. But to get 20th is a little bit upsetting from for them, you know? They, sh they have to do better. Like, I thought it maybe be like how Leicester went down. On the last day, it's been decided they're going down. Not five weeks before the final game, it's already de decided, you know? Maybe even earlier than that. You know, I think it was pretty much decided in February that they were going to go down. Um, so, yeah. But what did I say for 17th, 16th, 15th, 14th, 13th and 12th? Yeah. Yeah, I said that. I said Brentford, 17th. Mainly because... I thought maybe one season wonder kind of thing. You did well in your first season, but can you do good again? And they did. And forever I will appreciate Brentford. You're a top team now. Everton 16th, they finished 17th. I worked far off. I was pretty good on that. Northern Forest, I think, ended 16th. And they got 50. I said 15th again. Not too bad. I knew they would stay up. 14th for Leeds. Seemed realistic. But apparently not because they've gone down. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. But 13th Crystal Palace. They finished in 11th I believe. Um, worked too far off again. Knew they'd be around there. I knew they would just miss out on top 10. But be higher than 14th. Um, and Leicester in 12th, I thought was, for me, was maybe a bit too low. But I thought that was going to be around where they were going to go. I thought that was actually going to be spot on, to be fair. And then, for some reason, they did worse than I thought they would do. And I didn't think they'd do great. But they did worse than my expectations. And that is shocking from Leicester. But 11th, 10th. Ninth and eighth. Who did I say for them? Yeah, that's right. 
I said in 11th place would be Aston Villa. I am really sorry about that because you finished finished in 7th. Now, maybe if they kept Gerard, maybe it would have been around there. Maybe they would have done maybe a little bit worse. Um, I just did not expect Emery to come in and... I'm trying to think how many points they were behind Liverpool. I think they were like 12 and suddenly he got them all the way up to 7th and they only, let me check, they only got, they were 6 points behind Liverpool. Absolutely amazing they did, okay? If they had Emery earlier on, 11 points from getting Champions League football. Like, come on. They could have done it. So, they nearly did. And they did pretty well. So, I apologise for that and well done. Br um, not Brentford. Brighton. I put in 10th. Yes, I'm sorry. I thought 10th was pretty good for Brighton. They exceeded my expectations and finished in 6th. Which is amazing. Well done to you, Brighton. Newcastle in ninth. I knew they had the money. I know they could spend. I know I knew all of that, but I thought it would take a bit more time for them to get. I thought maybe maximum sixth. Maximum. I did not expect Eddie Howe and them men, them players. To finish fourth. Did not see that coming. I don't think anybody really saw that coming. So well done to you. I'm sorry for not rating you higher. Um in eighth place, West Ham. I thought they would just do what they've been doing for the past like two, three seasons, which is finish sixth, seventh, all of that. When they were getting top ten, they were getting European football. I thought they would. And where did they finish? Let me just check quickly. They finished in 14th. I don't know what was going on with them. But, um, yeah, they just did not do as good as I thought they would do. But now it's time. 7th, 6th and 5th. Who did I put there? Who's missing out on top four? Yeah. This is the big one that I want to say sorry for. This is the huge, massive one I want to say sorry for. Seventh place, Europa Conference League, Wolves. Trying to think of a reason why I put them there. And I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know why I put them there. I think mainly it might have been because when they first got promoted, they finished like sixth twice in a row. And I know they say doing a little bit poor again. But I was like, maybe they'll get back up there. No, I was wrong. 13th they finished. I was wrong. Maybe I should have put them more around like 12th, 13th. Maybe that would have been a little bit more better. And then I could have bumped up maybe Newcastle and Brighton. I'm just saying, this time around for Premier League predictions, when I react to them at the end of next season, I will not be apologising because I will be celebrating on how many I got correct, okay? I'm telling you. We're not making these mistakes again. Sixth place, I said Manchester United. I think most people put them just top six. Not really third, because I don't really think anybody expected them to do that good. But, yeah, well done. Chelsea, fifth. They should have been. They should have been top six. Or at least top seven. They didn't even get top ten. What's going on there? Come on. Do better, Chelsea. But now it's that time. Fourth, third, second, first, 
Who does who did I say would get top four and who did I say would win the Premier League? Let's take a look. Yeah, this is what I should have been doing. Because I should have been happy, excited, because I got the top four spot on. But no. Tottenham. That is where you should have finished. Fourth place was yours. And you do what Tottenham do. You bottle it and you you drop. Not even fifth, sixth, seventh. It was eighth. Terrible from you. Third place, Arsenal. I'll tell you, when I said that on TikTok, people laughed at me. But I'll tell them, they ain't laughing at me no more. Because they finished in second and nearly won the thing. So third place for me. I was pretty good with that prediction, really. Second place. Yeah, yeah, I put Man City because in the first, obviously, I said to win the Premier League, I would, it would be Liverpool, and we finished fifth. We finished fifth, and Man City won. I should have played it safe and gone from the simple, easy route and put Man City first, but I just had a little bit of belief on that day, and I put us first, and we finished fifth, and I'm sorry about that. Sorry about these predictions, but also I want to show you something else. Some other Premier League predictions that I made. Right, so this was on Twitter, okay, that I did this. And basically, well, I, I saw it on Twitter. I did it on TikTok. Um, I, I said the top score, the top assist. Well, yeah. Say again. Right, so yeah, it was something that I saw on TikTok. Well, so Twitter, and I did on TikTok, and it was like doing the top goal scorers and all that. So I did that as well, and as you can see, I, I said top goal scorer will be Mo Salah. Let's be honest, it's not a bad prediction. Top assists, Trent, again, not a bad prediction. If he played his new role earlier, he probably would have got it. Um, best. My, and I said best manager, sorry, best player. I also, I also said Sour. Um, again, it's not a bad prediction. Biggest flop. Again, I apologise, and this is the end of the video. Yes, I said Harland, deal with it, get over it. Just get over it. I'm sorry, okay, I apologise. I hope you enjoyed these predictions um, or me reacting to my predictions. Stay tuned because, you know, subscribe and that because we're going to be doing lots more videos. We've got a few more FIFA videos, maybe a few more other things like Champions League video because we're doing something around the Champions League. We're also rating kits. More predictions up for next season. Some transfer roundup, maybe. Um, a lot on here. Some vlogs, some other stuff. So make sure you stay tuned by subscribing. And let's get to 200 before August. Please. That would be massive. That would be big. And check me out over on TikTok. Because we're nearly at 7,000 over there. So check me out. I do 76. Like this YouTube channel. Same name. Check me out over there again. Like, subscribe, all of that. Hope you enjoyed my reacting to Premier League predictions. I'm sorry. I apologise. And until the next time, it's been your boy, RG76. And I'll see you soon.